Welcome to the finish line with So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and a couple of weeks ago I made this quick table topper using fat quarters. So it's time to get it done. And I'm going to use a method which I call freeform stars. Now these are stars that we would have drawn as children, and we're just going to bring them over to our quilting. When I was a child, I was taught how to do a star. One, two, three, four, five. It was one continuous movement. One, two, three, four, five. And it didn't matter how big or how small, I was able to do these stars. So we're going to free motion these or free form these stars. So they do not need to be all the same. We're just going to do the one, two, three, four, five stars. And to join the stars, we're just going to use some straight lines. So we can start with the star, one, two, three, four, five, and then just make some lines until you get to an area where you can do another star. So if you're in an area that you can't do a star, just walk over to an area that you can. You can do small stars, and we can do large stars. So this is going to be an all-over pattern. These straight ziggy ziggy lines are going to be able to get us anywhere we go, and it won't matter what the star shape is going to be. As a matter of fact, it'll be good to put some small ones, medium, and large. And that way, if you need to squeeze one in or make one big, they'll look like they belong. I'm going to be doing this on my Q20, and I'll be doing it on this quilt, and I think the stars will really be fun because of these shapes. I will be using 100% cotton thread. It's called Carlo Quilt, and I'm going to use the color cream because I really want it to blend in. I will not be starting right in the center. I'm going to start off a little bit. And because I have a beige thread, I will start in a beige area especially in an area where you have a print, you're not going to notice it as much. So I'm going to bring up my thread so I know where it is. Once that thread's up, I can start quilting. And the first thing I'm going to do is a star. One, two, three, four, five. Then some straight lines. And another star. Put some straight lines in until I get to an area. And do a star. So the very first line, we're going to go up, come down. Then we're going to cross over that first line. Cross over the second line. So now we've made two V's. We have one V, the second V. From here, we just close that off. And that gives us that star. So we can do the stars and straight lines through the entire quilt. If you want lines that are very straight, of course, we can do ruler work. We still need to make that V. Cross over. So that is a very perfect straight line star. And just continue to move the ruler to give us straight lines. And then we can work into a free form star.
So ruler work or free motion, it's just stars and straight lines to get to where we need to go. So here is the area where I did some free motion quilting. So the lines are not super straight, but they look straight. These stars are a little bit bigger and you can see with the ruler work how they make them a lot straighter. I have some small stars and some big stars. But even without the ruler work, you can see how much fun this stitching is. And as long as we could do that one, two, three, four, five line star, this is a very quick pattern to do. And on the back, we can see the stars and wonky lines to get to that quilting. These freeform stars work great on many different quilts. You can do tiny little ones like a micro quilting or do some really big ones for a very big impact. And once you get the hang of it, it goes really quickly. We don't really need to hit spots exactly right on. We have straight lines so we can travel wherever we go and one, two, three, four, five is all we need to do. I do hope you give it a try and thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're working on next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.